What's up, Africa? Man, this has not been a good week for Africa do-gooders. Sudan's Hollywood poster boy George Clooney was arrested. It was revealed that poverty campaigner, poverty campaigner, Bob Geldof uses offshore companies to avoid taxes. Hypocritical and disingenuous tax dodging? <laughs> of course not. According to Geldof, this was perfectly legitimate tax planning. There's a difference? And last but certainly not least, Uganda's BFF Jason Russell had a freaking breakdown. Breaking news tonight on one of the filmmakers behind Coney 2012, Jason Russell, who you see there, was found in his underwear running through the streets of San Diego yesterday, screaming and acting irrationally, and it appears it went downhill from there. Oh my god, that shit. Now, I could join you guys in criticizing this not exactly standard evangelical Christian behavior, but I know what Jason's going through. Making internet videos is stressful. Child soldiers have it easy. Try being a filmmaker slash internet celebrity in sunny Los Angeles. It's unbearable. Sometimes making my weekly videos gets to me too. Oh, I make a video. They like it, and now they hate it. Oh, I feel so dirty. Why don't they like me anymore? The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting. Your mother makes videos in Vimeo. <laughs> now I'm pretty. Yeah, they'll love me again. <laughs> I'll be a star. <laughs> You guys know about artist slash activist Banksy, right? The guy behind thought-provoking graffiti all over the world. Well, it looks as though Kenya might have its own Banksy. This is one of many graffiti pieces found around the town by an unknown artist determined to get a message to the political fraternity of Kenya. Kenyan elections are still several months away, but Kenyan youth are already engaged and clearly determined to let their voices be heard. It is a way of us young people to express ourselves and to pass the message to the people who can't hear us. But if you ask an average Kenyan today, we'll give you a thumbs up. There's a bit of a buzz around a new music genre called Noir Wave. As far as I can see, it's got very similar elements to New Wave. Synthesizers, electric guitars, band members wearing skinny jeans, and dodgy fashion accessories. But whereas New Wave is sung and produced by white American and European hipsters, Noir Wave is radically different. It's sung and produced by black African hipsters. Jury is still out on this one in my book, but I will wait until the new release from South African noir wave hero Yannick Ilunga before deciding. He's the frontman of Popscar, a band who had the hit track Tonight. This is true and so I That's it, people. My name's Ikena Azwike. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit me up on the WhatsApp Africa Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will see you all next week for another edition of WhatsApp Africa. I don't I'll be a star. <laughs>